Inquiry into Nusrat Ghani sacking requires complaint to be made, says Rob Liv. Dominic Rob, the deputy PM, has said there can be no investigation into the claim made by a Tory MP that she was sacked over her Muslim faith until she submits a formal complaint to the Conservative Party. Nusrat Ghani said she was dismissed from her role as a transport minister in 2020 due to concerns around her Muslimness. She claimed she was told by an unnamed government whip that her faith was making colleagues uncomfortable. Chief Whip Mark Spencer has since denied the allegations, calling them completely false and defamatory. Mr. Robb told Sky News earlier that while Ms. Ghani's claim was incredibly serious, she hasn't made a formal complaint, despite being asked to do so. He added. In the absence of this, there will be no specific investigation. The latest blow to Boris Johnson's government came after the Sunday Times reported that the Partygate inquiry may have unearthed details of Kerry Johnson hosting friends at their Downing Street flat during lockdown. The PM's wife is said to have explained the visits as work-related events. A bit more from Dominic Robb now. The deputy PM has said again Boris Johnson would have to resign if he was found to have misled Parliament over a party held at number 10. The code of conduct for ministers is very clear that if you mislead Parliament, it is a resigning matter Robb told Times Radio earlier. He also appeared to suggest publication of the Gray Report could take slightly longer than expected. If it takes a day or two longer absolutely right. Sue Gray should determine that he said, adding of Gray. I don't think you could have anyone who is more confident and dutiful in speaking truth to power. Let's hear from the Labour Party now. Shadow Attorney General Emily Thornberry has said the Conservatives should hold an independent inquiry into Islamophobia. Responding to accusations made by Tory MP Nusrat Ghani that she was fired from a ministerial role for her Muslimness, Ms Thornberry said. I know Nus Ghani I have always found her to be a deeply serious and principled individual. When she makes an allegation like this, I believe her. Speaking to Times Radio, Ms Thornberry added that the Conservative Party just don't take Islamophobia in their midst seriously. She added. I would like to see an independent inquiry into Islamophobia in the Tory party, in the same way that we quite rightly held an independent inquiry into the poison that is anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. Thornberry is the Labour MP for Islington South as Sky's Sam Coates reports. On that note, here's Ashley Cowburn with more on the revelations by Downing Street. Ms Ghani alleged she was told her Muslim faith was making colleagues feel uncomfortable after Nusrat Ghani told the Sunday Times she was sacked as transport minister in 2020 due to concerns around her Muslimness, a number 10 spokesperson said the matter had been dealt with two years ago. In a statement, the spokesperson said. After being made aware of these extremely serious claims, the Prime Minister met with Nusrat Ghani to discuss them on 1 July 2020. He then wrote to her on 10 July, expressing his serious concern and inviting her to begin a formal complaint process. She did not subsequently do so. The Conservative Party does not tolerate prejudice or discrimination of any kind. Following my earlier posts, here's our political correspondent Ashley Cowburn with more on the remarks Dominic Robb made this morning about Tory MP Nusrat Ghani. Ms. Ghani alleged she was told her Muslim faith was making colleagues feel uncomfortable, an inquiry into allegations of parties at Downing Street may have unearthed details of at least one gathering in Boris Johnson's flat, reports suggest. Sue Gray, the senior civil servant conducting the investigation, is reported to have received evidence of visits involving close friends of Carrie Johnson, the PM's wife, during lockdown. Mrs. Johnson is said to have welcomed two friends both civil servants but not working at number 10 at the time into her residence on several occasions during lockdown, according to the Sunday Times, with the visits reportedly being explained as work-related. Zoe Tidman has more. Sue Gray's report is expected to be published this week back to the Trevor Phillips on Sunday program now, where former Labour PM Gordon Brown said Boris Johnson's government will likely end in scandal. My fear is that scandal is going to follow Boris Johnson, as long as he is Prime Minister Brown said. We don't just have the scandal, and all the details will probably come out later this week about partying we have the conflicts of interest, we have the dubious appointments, we have foreign money and question marks over that, who is paying the bills for what. And I don't think we are going to see this administration end in anything other than scandal. Mr. Brown added that attention has veered away from other important issues, like the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan, the rising cost of living in the UK, and Russia's aggression against Ukraine because of the Downing Street parties. Last bit from Rob's Sky interview now. The deputy PM said it is extremely unlikely that troops will be sent into Ukraine in the event of a Russian invasion, but stressed there will be severe economic consequences for the Kremlin, including financial sanctions.
There will be very serious consequences if Russia takes this move to try and invade, but also install a puppet regime, he said. Asked how the government would respond, Rob said. We wouldn't telegraph all of the measures that we would take, but it's important this very clear message that there will be very serious, severe economic consequences. Our political correspondent Ashley Cowburn has the full report. Deputy PM says there will be severe economic consequences.